Jacob, the playbook's not the only thing I want to talk to you about. I hear you plan on taking a knee during the national anthem this season. Yeah, coach. I'm kneeling in protest to stand up against racism. Colin Kaepernick's silent action in 2016. 49ers quarterback choosing a new form of protest. A football star kneeling during last night's national anthem. Creating a very loud reaction. A wave of NFL members coast to coast. Entire teams linking arms in solidarity. And the debate is heating up. Just this week, Nike taking sides. So don't ask if your dreams are crazy ask if they're crazy enough. Revealing their new Just Do It campaign featuring Kaepernick. Critics reacting by destroying Nike gear using the hashtag Just Burn It. I don't like what Nike did. I don't think it's appropriate. I honor the flag. The movement is causing repercussions from the NFL to high school. Two high school football players at a private school in Texas have been kicked off the team for taking a knee during the national anthem. Politics has no place in the field, Jacob. I'm telling you right now, you're required to stand. You'd really keep me from playing for this, coach? This is something I strongly believe in. Taking a knee during the national anthem. That debate has turned the country's most popular sport, football, into its most polarizing. You're out to lunch when you overhear a high school coach arguing with his team captain over the player's decision to take a knee. What would you do? I believe this is an opportunity to make a positive change in our town. And with the new NFL season underway, we're setting up the same scene in two different places. The Bronx, New York. I don't have the right to free speech. I don't think you understand, Jamari. Freedom isn't free. We should be standing up for our country. And Goats. Hey, buddy. Bardstown, Kentucky where this couple is grabbing lunch at the old Talbot Tavern. But I'm ready for the season. I know it's coming up. It is. The scouts are looking at you. You got to stay focused, man. And I need to talk to you about something. The conversation between our coach and his star player veers away from the game. I've been hearing that you're willing to take a knee during the game, and I'm not happy with that. They tune right in. Now, why would you want to kneel during the anthem? Because it shows that we're standing up against police brutality. They stay silent as our coach issues his ultimatum. And I've got the right to kick you off my team. Are you serious? And when coach oh. storms out. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Americans have freedom of expression. I mean, I understand why you're doing it. She lets him know she's on his team. I disagree. I, I think you're dis disrespecting the flag. I mean, there's a time and place to show what you stand up for, but I don't think disrespecting the flag is, is part of it. Turns out this couple is just as divided as the rest of the country. That's something that's very strong to me. Yeah, but to me, that's not disrespecting the flag. That's how you draw attention to things. Peaceful protest. Yes, ma'am. When our coach returns to the game. Freedom of expression, it's United States of America. He poses a question he hopes will prove his point. Were you in the military, sir? Yes, we 10 years were. in the Navy. We both yeah. were. Two Navy veterans on opposite sides of the issue. I mean, there's other ways of showing what he believes in. I, right. I know why they're doing it. And the reason they're doing it is because of the horrible way they've been treated by the police. So I agree with that. They're drawing attention to it. Time to draw more attention. How are you guys? Their way. <laughs> oh my God. We got a divided table here. <laughs> and two yes. people who were in the military. Yes. Nothing changes if nobody stands up for what they believe. You have the opposite view. Yeah, I, I think that he's disrespecting the flag. It's a silent protest. We're not doing anything wrong. If you do it, you're going to be off the team. As we roll again, this couple listens to the play-by-play. -play. You're disrespecting the flag, the military, everything it stands for. You, you don't understand me, Coach. You don't live in my skin. And they decide to share their point of view. I agree that you have a right to protest, and I get that all these adults that you guys are supposed to look up to are doing these things, but do it in a different place. I don't agree with any of it because, for one, this is our country. And regardless of, of what's going on in the country, that's still our brothers and sisters that fought and died for us, man. I have nothing against the military or the flag. I have nothing against the military or the flag. You're telling me you don't believe in the American man? I, I definitely because do. Because of our president? You don't believe in what he's doing? I understand that. But you can't kneel to the flag, man. You still hold your hand on your heart when that flag is up in the air, son. You stand up and you look at it the whole time and keep your hand on that heart. You don't put your knee on the ground. I'm, I'm just, I'm disappointed, buddy. 
All right, break it. How are you guys doing? What would you do? Yeah. I watch this show all the time. You had some strong feelings. I literally see both sides, but I think that the platform that he's taking is the wrong platform. You don't see both sides. I see the flag. I see my brothers and sisters, you black, brown, yellow, I don't care what color you are. They fought and died for our country, and that's our flag, man. As our cameras continue rolling. Son, there's many other ways to voice your opinion on this. You will be hurting yourself in the long run. More Kentuckians believe that our player should stand for the national anthem. I'll really do that. Now, if you want to force your opinion, find another way. Others have more ideas. My suggestion, find a way to make changes, not just a statement. To work some way with you or to work through the police department. Back in the Bronx, we're rolling at the Royal Coach Diner, and our actor Jamari is hearing something similar. You are entitled to kneel if you want to, because that is your right. A lot of people just follow, but they don't know the history behind anything. I'm doing this for my people. No, I'm no, doing this no, for no, you, no. for listen, me, and No, you're not doing it for me. But I'll tell you why you're not doing it for me, because there are other ways I can protest. I can write letters. I can go to main marches and stuff like that. But her friend? She steps in and challenges the coach. Anyone who kneels is gone. Just because he's a sports team doesn't mean that his belief is sidelined. I don't believe his belief should be sidelined. This man cautions against throwing it all away. People are looking at you as far as scholarships and stuff like that. Maybe once you move up, you could help more. But get that scholarship first. Move up first. We're still in New York, and we're rolling again. Don't I have the right to free speech? Sure, off the field. If you take a knee, you're gone. You're off the team. You will kick me off the team for this? Come on, coach. See, this is none of my business, but you shouldn't even put him in that type of position. They decide to get involved. Freedom of speech is here for everybody and for him to be as young as he is and as aware as he is. You can't do anything but respect him. I can't believe he's willing to throw away his whole future because of this ridiculous cause. The only thing that would really throw away his future would be you kicking him off the table. Sometimes one of the hardest decisions we have to make is allow them to make some of the tough calls on their own. And taking a knee for something that he may seem is right, that says a lot about his character and that says a lot about you as a coach. It turns out this teacher is also a coach herself, and she offers her very own lesson. As a young black man who walks the street and has his different levels of fear, whether or not he gets kicked off your team or not, that knee is going to get taken because he believes this one's right. And when our coach storms off, I'm done with this. They continue to lend the support his coach refuses to give. You're not starting trouble. You're not starting a riot. I think you should stand by your decision. Some of the hardest decisions have to be made come with some of the greatest consequences. As well, oh my God. How you doing, my man? <laughs> I couldn't hear a coach say something like that. When you work with children, it's all about building them up, not breaking them down. It touches you. Yeah, there's situations that I've been through myself where you either stay quiet or you fight to defend yourself. That's the real world that we live in. But you applaud what this young man was doing. Absolutely. Do what you think is right and stand by your decision 